Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the properties of two independent random variables. So, if two random variables x and y are independent, then we have the joint probability mass function Px of x comma y is equal to the product of the marginal probability mass function that is Px of x Py of y. So, the first property we want to see is that the correlation function r x comma y is equal to the expectation of x times y. We want to determine the value of this function that is uh, by definition this is equal to the, the summation over x and y of the product x times y with respect to the joint probability mass function that is p x comma y of x comma y. So, this is the definition of the uh, correlation function that is x times the expectation of x times y. So, but since uh, from 1, we have that the joint probability mass function is equal to the product of 2 of the respective marginal probability mass functions. We can rewrite this definition as summation x times summation y, I mean, summation over x and y, we have x times y, the product of the individual marginal mass functions, marginal pre-MFs. So, and since uh, these two uh, these two mass functions, these two PMFs are independent. We can basically uh, write this uh, double summation as the product of two summations, that is individual summations, x times p x of x multiplied by y times p y of y, which is obviously equal to expectation of x multiplied by expectation of y. So correlation of two independent random variables is equal to the product of expectation. So the next property here is we want to find the expectation of x given y, which is equal to by definition summation over x of x times p, the conditional, the conditional probability mass function. So, this is equal to x times and this is defined as the ratio x comma y of x comma y that is the joint PMF divided by the marginal PMF that is y of y. But this is equal to from 1 the product of two marginal probability mass functions. So, by cancelling the two uh, the marginal functions of y, we are left with the summation x or of x times p x of x that is the marginal probability mass function of x. So, this is nothing but the expectation of x. So, for independent random variables, the conditional expectation of x given y is equal to expectation of x. And similarly, we can also prove that along same lines, we can also prove that the expectation of y given x is equal to expectation of y. And the next property is, we want to determine the variance of, the next property is the covariance of x comma y, which is equal to expectation x times y minus the product expectation of x into expectation of y. So, and, and we, from the property 1, we just proved that the correlation is equal to the product of expectation. So, this is equal to 0. That is for independent random variables, the covariance is 0. And this property is already proven in a previous, proven in a previous video. Now, let, now the next property is variance of x plus y. By definition, variance of x plus y of two, any two random variables is de defined as variance of x plus variance of y minus two times covariance of x comma y. But we just learned that covariance of x comma y for two independent random variables is zero. Therefore, for independent random variables, variance of x plus y is equal to the sum of the variances. That is variance of x plus variance of y. Therefore, for two independent random variables, x comma y, when they are independent, then we have the correlation r x comma y or that is expectation of x times y is equal to expectation of x times expectation of y. And then we have the conditional expectation that is x given y is equal to expectation of x. That is the basically the conditional expectation does not depend on the other variable basically since they are independent. And similarly y given x that is expectation of y given x is equal to expectation of y. And the next property is covariance of 
x comma y that is two independent random variables is zero. That is one, two, three, and finally variance of x plus y is equal to the sum of the individual variances. So these are the important properties of independent random variables. Thanks for watching.